Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to record phone calls on Android. Now let me start this off by saying that recording phone calls without consent from all parties is not always legal in every state or province, so be sure to check the laws in your area before you get yourself into any trouble. But most Android phones in the US don't have a built-in call recording function, so it's something you'll have to handle with third-party solutions. Regardless of if you're rooted or not, the first thing you should try is a simple call recording app. There are tons of these apps on the Play Store, so it can be kind of hard to find a good one sometimes. But I went ahead and sorted through all the riffraff and found two solid options for you, and they each offer a free version that should fit most of your needs. And by the way, if you're having trouble finding either of these apps, I have direct links for their Play Store pages over at the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks. But the first app is called Automatic Call Recorder from developer Applicado. With most modern phones, all you'll have to do is install this app and it'll automatically start recording calls for you. The recordings can be accessed from the main menu here, and when you tap one you'll get options for sharing the file and even adding notes. But let's say the app doesn't seem to work for your particular phone. Well there are actually several call recording options, so it would be worthwhile to take a quick trip to the app settings menu. From here select the audio source option, then you've got a few choices. You'll probably want to experiment with these to find the best option for you, but if all else fails, I've found that setting this to mic will work on pretty much any phone. But the downside here is that you'll have to put all of your calls into speakerphone mode so that the mic can record both sides, but it's definitely a viable option. The next call recording app I have for you is called Call Recorder ACR by developer NLL. Like the previous app, all you'll have to do on most phones is just install it, then it'll automatically record all phone calls for you. But that can be tweaked in settings if you'd like, and if you're having trouble with the recording feature, there's also an audio source option that you should check out. So head to the main settings menu, then select recording. From here scroll down a bit until you find the audio source option, then again you'll have various choices that you can experiment with. And if none of these seem to work for you, of course you can set this to mic, then use speakerphone mode to record your calls. Beyond that though, if you're a rooted user, I have a few exposed modules that you might want to look into. So let me set that up real quick and I'll get right back with you. Okay, so these exposed modules are specific to certain devices, but they offer a more integrated solution for recording phone calls. First, if you have a newer HTC One, you should check out a module called HTC One Tweaker. It's full of options, which I can't demonstrate here without actually having an HTC One, but one of the main options is voice call recording. With that enabled, you can use the built-in recorder app on your HTC One to record all phone calls, so it's definitely a solid option. Next up, if you own a Sony Xperia device, a module called X Recorder is all you'll need. Basically, you just install this, then activate and reboot, and when you get back up, just make sure to enable all the options in the module. From there, all of your calls will be recorded automatically, so it's pretty seamless. Finally, if you own a Galaxy S5 or a Galaxy Note 4, a module called TW Call Recorder will actually add a record button to the stock phone call interface. Once you install the module, then activate and reboot, you'll see a record button while you're in a phone call. Just press this button, then the rest of the phone call will be recorded. Pretty simple, right? But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.